What's happening, internet? It's me, your boy Adrian, aka Fomex Cosplay. Now, once again, I am not a reaction channel. It's just that if I like something, I'm going to react to it. Because this is Marvel, I'm going to react. First reactions just going to be pure, genuine. I haven't seen this yet. Oh my gosh, reaction. Then the second will just break down things that catch my attention. Let's do it. 1950s static for the logo. Hmm. 50s. Oh, that aspect ratio changed though. Sixties, seventies, vision. Television. Ah, okay. So let's go through it slowly and let's see how we can break it down. This is a 1950s TV set for the Marvel Studios logo. Why does the Marvel font look like Fortnite? It's following the size of the 1950s giant TV set. They're riding one of those classic 1950s cars, like a Buick or something. Visions here. Alive. We know that Vision died at the end of uh, Avengers Infinity War, which I think is a major plot point for this show. How did they end up across the media timeline? Was Vision still alive? And how are they married? So those are major questions I got from this trailer. They definitely are. When she says, I want us to fit in, you could see Vision change into all Bethany form. Being 1950s special effects and sound effects. We've come a long way since then. I have no idea who she is, but she could be the major villain of Might Be Enchantress. Marvels, I'm not sure. I haven't read up on this classic 1950s questions. Our story. If you remember Age of Ultron, Wanda had the thickest accent. She came from Sokovia, and yet here we hear her with the most American accent. They have no idea where they came from. I really enjoyed the aspect ratio change. Shows that we're no longer in the show format. We're now shifting across TV history, basically. Marvel Studios, the 1960s, with colored television. If you look at their outfits, their color pattern matches their costumes. Visions is green, and Wanda's is red. Clearly 70s, it's her again. Wanda's Halloween costume here. That is the comic accurate costume. I remember Marvel Studios said that Elizabeth Olsen didn't have to wear this when she'd play Scarlet Witch. They lied. <laughs> this looks like Halloween night in the 1960s. Vision is flying up. They're living in a suburban neighborhood. This witch. She's gonna cause major problems. I can feel it. A visionary new age up. His Halloween costume is the comic accurate version of Vision. One thing I appreciate about Marvel Studios is they find a way to show the original suits and show why they wouldn't work with the new audience. I like that. I like how they pay respect to the 1940s to 60s golden age of comics. Is that the 90s? She's wearing more casual clothes. She's wearing plaid. Clearly, it's the 90s of WandaVision, of television. I like this take. And this seems like it's going to get really meta. Like it's the history of television explained through their relationship and their... Oh, who's that flying? It's a shield age. This looks like modern day. They have lasers on all of their weapons. Girl with an afro. Definitely not Misty Knight. We've seen her in Luke Cage. That was one division, and overall, I liked it. It's got an interesting premise, interesting concept, interesting execution. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to come out. It's on the list, aside from the Mandalorian of things to watch. So that's basically it for this reaction slash breakdown. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Please really do subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.